Hi, hi, welcome back to my channel. This is my weekly basket and I'm really happy to share this week's basket with you. I guess like every other week's basket, but let's get on because I have some really fun stuff in this week's basket. In case you are new to my channel, welcome. And every week I try to swap out my makeup products and use things that I've hauled, use things I've had before in my collection and just try to really enjoy products that I own and just not stick to the regular products over and over and over again. In addition to this, I've actually um, started a project, Empties, and it's um, a, I have a whole video on that, so I will annotate it here and I'll also link it in the description where you can check it out. So those products are always going to be in every week's basket and I'm not going to just show them back every week so you can check those products in addition to the products that are in this week's basket. So let's get on to the face because, well, I generally love to always start with my face products. Alright, so primer, I still have my Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer because I have not done a review yet on this. And I am using, I have two bronzers here and quite interesting. This is the BH Cosmetics. Um, I don't think their whole video is up as yet, but you'll see it soon. And the one I got actually is the one that says it's a matte bronzer and this one is in Diva. And I actually use it to warm up my face because my foundation is a bit lighter. So, in addition to this one, I actually have this clean color, Casey Picked Press Powder with SPF 20, and this one is in Light Espresso. Packaging is horrible, but um, I use that to contour today. I think I'm just going to snap, yeah, snap this out and keep this. Maybe even see if I can snap that off. So, yeah, it's bulky. This has actually the puff and the mirror, so I may just keep the mirror in case, you know, I want to be vain and look at myself. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, let's get on. So blushes. I have two powdered blush. And I actually have my one from e.l.f. That's in my project empties. But I have this mineral press blush in Jet Setter. It's actually what I'm wearing. And I also put this Arista in Wild Orchid. And I have this Beauty Treats Chic, Chic and Lip Color. And I'm not sure which number this one is. I think this is 01. I did have put on this and also Jet Setter. And I'm wearing that on my cheeks. And in addition to that, I have the Beach Cosmetics That's Hard palette. And there's also a gorgeous blush in this palette. So I thought, hey. And then I, there's some eyeshadows that I have in this week's basket that I can also use for blush. So I have, it may look limited, but I do have a good set. And for highlighter, I pulled out, I'm keeping, remember I said I'm going to use this until the end of the month. This is my Clean Colin Sol. I've actually hit pan here. So excited about that. that I've hit pan. Um, however, I don't know if I'm going to still keep it after the end of this month because the product is apparently to be a bit chalky. But interestingly, when I have been applying it lately, I think because I decided to say that I'm going to throw it out, it has been working really nice. And I'm loving the glow that it's given my face. Yeah, so... That pretty much is, oh, concealer, I have this BH Cosmetics Concealer in Light, and I mainly, I really wanted a medium, but um, Halloran Rustic only had the light, and because of that, I just had to end up picking this up because I want the correctors. Um, I have horrible under eye circles, so yeah. And that's it for face. Next we go on to eyes and yeah this is an outrageous category so I'll try not to ramble. You know what primer I'm using so bases I have inked and pink because of a palette. Two palettes actually and I need to put a dent in this thing because I really love this paint pot. I know it looks like it has a good dent which it does compared to quite a lot of my other paint pots but I really want to start showing these paint pots love. I have the clean colors um, bases that I showed last week. I plan to do a review this week. Plus some maybe fun looks to give you my take on it. Eyeshadows, I'm going to start with the tiniest set of first. And these are Hyaluronic Pigments. Um, this one is Dean. We have Mistletoe, Key West, Passion, OMG. This one is Culture and Cancun. And a lot of these are like green and stuff because a friend challenged me to do um, a football or World Cup look. And um, then I was chatting with a friend two or three days ago and she was like, yeah, let's do a collab. And interestingly, she said about that, I am very skeptical because there's so many out there. I am not a makeup artist, but 
I will see. So I put that there to play around because usually I don't like to cheat on my weekly basket. If it's not in the basket, I don't want to use it. So that's why those are there. I recently hauled a Dots Heart palette from BH Cosmetics and which was recommended by a friend. So it has eyeshadows, highlights, and contour. Also here, not sure if I'm going to be using all the products in this, but I really want to try this out and let you guys know. If you want to review, let me know. Next, I have this bare palette that is from, oops, that is from Profusion. Is it? Yes, it's from Prof Profusion. And it's just really neutral. A friend of mine knew I had, oops, had these, and it comes with a pencil. And she was like, you know, asked me to review it because she saw them in wonderful world and wanted to know if they were really worth the buy. Then the palette I used to create this look, which I'm absolutely loving, is the reveal two palettes and review is coming very soon. And this palette, I actually did another get ready with me video and I'll link that below for you guys to see where I showed this palette in action. And I think I started this, I don't know if I gave my take on it all little two cents in it but the whole review is coming i have like used this for i think maybe two to two to three weeks because i got it like the next day it came out because i did overnight shipping so yeah and then i got the lorac this is not a real unzip lorac unzip this is a dupe and this is what it looks like haven't used it as yet but i was asked to do a comparison with this and a reveal and the naked three dupe to see what it's like so yeah, there's a mirror at the back end. I was checking my lip color. Yeah, a little vein. <laughs> so that's it. And this is just, um, these are 10 eyeshadows. The reveal is like 20, the profusion. In addition to that, yes, Ruana could not have had more eyeshadows. Yes, she does. I have the Book of Fame because I have used this thing. And some of the colors that are in this, I have actually used as blush last week. And yeah, I started swatching it and playing around with it couple I think one or two looks that um, videos that I've done you I did a look if I have that video up I will link it below for you to guys to see you know me using it and I did use the blush the eyeshadows there as blushes um I think in my it's not up as yet but in my big lots haul that whole look and blush and everything was from that palette so I know I'm talking a lot we should move on um mascaras liners going back again to that the ones in my project empties in addition to this jordana in always blue i'm actually enjoying these jordanas yeah i've had them in my collection so long like maybe two three years and haven't used them so yeah i've also pulled out these two clean colors this one is in sea foam and this one is in teal just for that look and i also want to do a look that has a blue in it so any who's um mascaras i have quite a few my primer actually is this one from clean color which a review is going to be coming soon very very soon and then i have the two malibu malibu ah malibu glitz and review i was requested to do a review on these and i am wearing it yeah and then these two mascaras are finished and i just need to finish them well this one for sure is my butterfly lash out but I've been also killing this Miss Manga and I've also was asked to do a review. Brows. I need to do my brows but I'm really trying to grow it out again as usual. Because I was told that I need to give them, don't do them like every week. Because you need to give them a chance to grow. So I have my e.l.f. eyebrow kit but I have my Jordana Fabi brow in taupe also. This kit is in light and i know some people be like girlfriend you're not light but i did talk about how i like to use i have really thick brows so i just sparsely like to fill them in and then i set it with a wet gloss so that is the whole shebang for eyes let's get on to lips for lips in addition to in my project empties i am rocking one brand and that is my beach cosmetics lipsticks i've had like these here Except the nude, I've had four, five of these since last year. I've not touched them; they are new. Then I got a nude, I think some time back, and then I picked up. I think it was out of Vixen. I think it was Vixen. I picked up. Then a girlfriend took it, and she's like, "Ron, I know you're gonna get back." And that's the truth. I did get back Vixen, but I also picked up Coral Escape and um, Pop Culture, and I do have extras because I plan to put these in giveaways. And I know some people are asking what's happening to the giveaway. Um, my giveaway for last month is second one I had I counted 
I did like maybe 10 videos and I had like over I had a ridiculous amount um of comments and I'm not complaining but then the book that I started numbering it I can't locate it and I've started doing it all over again and then some people actually watch the videos after the deadline for the giveaway so I have to keep track of that also um, and I plan to do a very impromptu giveaway um, I have been doing the same thing for this month even though I didn't announce it and you're gonna get um, so I will announce two winners at the end of this month so you're gonna get last month's second giveaway winner um, for my thousand subbies and you're gonna get a winner for this month of June um, together so and I didn't even show the prizes or anything but you're gonna see it because um, I just thought I'll do those videos together and the other two items lip items are actually these two black radiance duos someone asked me to do a review on them because they were interested in purchasing them so I just put these in so that you guys could um so I can use them and give my review so that's it for this week's basket in total as you guys can see a lot of fun stuff in it I'm really excited to use some of these items and give you my take and experience so thank you for watching and let me know if you're using anything new in this week's basket if you've purchased any of these items um, and you have been using it let me know your take on it and I'll appreciate that so thanks again for watching till my next video